now time to get some planning done for the space theme. I have everything laid out here and this theme was a little tricky for me to plan and I think it's because I've never done a space theme before. I wanted to keep it really simple yet meaningful in a way that, you know, a two-year-old can make a connection to what space is and our universe and these are things that they do see and they can connect with like the moon, stars, and the sky. So first off I've created some real images here and those are going to be in a downloadable packet that I'll put the link below. You have the books that we'll be reading and we will have in our library are Smithsonian Kids, Planets and the Solar System, Hello World, Solar System and Pete the Cat Out of This World. We'll have a lot of fun with those in the library and reading them to the kids for the next couple weeks and then in the dramatic play we're going to be setting up a Pizza Planet restaurant with just our little play pizza and these signs. A menu and then I also have a real some real images that'll go on the wall in there to help them reenact a pizza restaurant. And then in the Play-Doh area, I have some Play-Doh mats, some star cookie cutters, and some yellow Play-Doh. In my sensory bin, I have these little glow-in-the-dark stars, this black aquarium gravel, and then this space tube from Safari LTD. And I'm just going to put all that in the bin and maybe with some scoops, other things like that, and I think they'll have a lot of fun with. For circle time, we're going to be singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Mr. Golden Sun. So I have these star props, the kids will have fun with that. And then also I've made a couple group time discussion cards. What is space and how do we explore space? So we'll have a lot of questions. We can just pull those cards out at circle time and then there's a lot of discussion you can have with that day after day. For my writing center, so far I just have a bunch of space stamps and then this little book with all the different planets in there that I've made. And that'll be nice to add in there. I'm still working on some coloring sheets. I'll have those added to my packet soon. And then also this really cute solar system counting puzzle. Very simple but very nice. I think they'll have a lot of fun with that. I printed two and then cut out the second one so they can just layer that on top. These are just some matching puzzles. Each one has a different colored border for control of air but we could play some games with these or the children might just have fun laying them out on the carpet and matching those up. Different images about space on those. And then for this one we love the activity cube games and this one is a movement and action game where they roll this cube and whatever shape lands upside they're going to zoom like a rocket ship and hunt the room until they can find one of these planets that I've hidden out in the room that would match their same shape. I think that this will be a good game. They always enjoy these activity cube games, especially when it gets them moving. For group art, we will be doing these space helmets and I'll just cut these out and tape them to a jumbo stick. And this will be like a mask. I'll let them color that with some marker they like. And if you wanted to make this really durable, you could run that through the laminator before you put it on the stick. For this one, we're going to do a Van Gogh's Starry Starry Night inspired process art by doing some foil painting and all I've done here is tape some foil with some painter's tape onto a heavy sheet of paper and then I'm going to offer the children some tempera paint on a palette in that in a similar color range and today we'll just paint some swirls with these large q-tips and when they're all done I'll help them press that onto another heavy sheet of paper and this is going to stamp image that they've painted all those pretty swirls swirls of paint onto that heavy paper. And when that's dry, probably like the next day, so this could be a two-part project, I'll let them glue some of these little glow-in-the-dark stars onto that. And I think that's going to make a really nice art project, something that they're going to be really proud of. This is going to be a space shuttle wind catcher, and I've cut out some strips here of some orange, yellow, and red tissue paper, and we'll glue that onto the bottom. The children can decorate their space shuttle any way they like with some markers or tempera paint, and I also have a nice space shuttle here for some inspiration, and we can talk about the space shuttle and how we explore space with the space shuttle. For this one it's going to be a sun and a moon on the paper plate and I've got some inspiration images here. So this side on the convex side of the plate we're going to paint that gray and then use this little cup as a stamp to make the craters on the moon with some lighter colored paint, maybe white. And then when that's dry we'll paint the other side, the convex side of the plate, yellow and glue some of these 
triangles on for the solar flares. And this actually, I've seen this done and it looks really cool and it's a really nice project to do. We haven't painted much with wood lately, so I found these little rocket ships, these wooden rocket ships on Amazon. So we'll just have fun painting those one day. So for this one, we're going to paint a solar system. And so we'll first start with the stars in the galaxy. Give the children these little stars and have them dip them in white tempera paint and stamp it onto this black sheet of paper. And the next day when that's all dry, they can go ahead and put some of these nice planet stickers onto that sheet of paper, making their solar system. For this one, this is um, going to be planet bubble painting. I'll just mix some of this liquid watercolor with some regular bubbles. Then they'll take the straws that I've bound together here with some tape and each child will have their own set of straws like this. We'll dip the straws into the bubbles and blow the bubbles onto the planet, probably doing a red and a blue in that so that they can mix and make some purple. For this one we're going to be doing some constellation art. I have this really nice Usborne book and in the back it has some great pictures and some descriptions of some different constellations. For this, I have these kind of 3D stickers that I found at Walmart. So I'll just let the children put these on their pages, making their own stars in the sky. And then I'll give them a piece of chalk so that they can connect their, their stars and make a constellation. Very simple, but a very meaningful project. And on the last day, we love doing our cooking projects. For group art so we will be making some star sugar cookies just using a sugar cookie dough mix the children can help roll out the sugar cookie dough and stamp some stars in it and we'll have a nice snack with that as well so i hope this helps and i hope it gives you some good ideas and some inspiration for the space theme but make sure to stay tuned because in the next couple weeks i'll be posting a video of the children playing and interacting with these materials as well as doing these projects but make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out